Hare Krishna, dear devotees, we are in the temple in Budapest, Hungary, and we have two very kind devotees here from Ukraine who will tell us about the situation in their country and their story. So please introduce yourself to the devotees. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. My name is Ekantarani Dididasi, I come from Kiev. Um, my uh, spiritual master is Chaitanya Chandra Charan Prabhu and my, um, my service in Kiev uh, temple is to assist to Pujari. I also used to cook in uh, Vaishnava cafe which we have in our, um, in our temple but it was before uh, Covid started and now my major, uh, my major service is to assist to Pujari. And what was your job? Uh, I'm an English teacher. I teach uh, adults English, general English and business English. Um, generally it's uh, corporations, corporate English or one-to-one. -one. Thank you. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. So my name is Nikunja Devi Devi Dasi. I'm a disciple of uh, His Holiness Sri Vashavarama Swami Maharaj. Uh, I came from Kiev and uh, I uh, make some service in Kiev a temple, uh, like <coughs> the, uh, deity worship, uh, cook for deities and uh, dress in the puja department, and also cook for devotees and uh, a sort to Tulsi Maharani. Thank you. Uh, could you please tell us about your experience in Kiev before you left the country? Mm -hmm. So you mean like the conflict side? Yes. Yeah, well it was um, in the morning of the first day when it all started. I was chanting my job at 5 o'clock in the morning and I heard explosion in the distance and I didn't realize what it was because I'd never heard it before. And I thought maybe it was a petrol station explosion or something. And then I saw a huge traffic jam from the window because I lived near the motorway. And I thought, like, okay, maybe this is this uh, traffic jam is due to the to that explosion that I heard. Although it was really very early in the morning, and only when I finished Japa and I um, opened, uh, I um, switched on my mobile, I realized that uh, this um, this conflict started, and I have to do something about it. I waited for maybe one more day at home because it was more or less bearable in terms of the explosions heard in the distance and the tanks in front of my window. But next day in the morning, very early in the morning, it continued and very loudly, that's why I had to escape. And I fled to, uh, to temple, to my temple Kiev to, for shelter. Mm. How about you? Mm -hmm. In the first day, it was 20, uh, 24th of February, I was as usual in Mangalarati and uh, we just chant with devotees in the temple room and some uh, Matajis came and uh, talked with uh, something terrible uh, in the street, uh, some uh, explosion, explosions and uh, bombs and uh, uh, did you hear? And I didn't hear, uh, actually, it, we start to see in the windows and it was like uh, <coughs> some uh, 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 airplanes uh, very, very close to the, uh, to the earth and uh, uh, we didn't know anything, just, uh, just, uh, just was afraid and uh, it was like usual uh, morning program in the temple, class and uh, uh, breakfast and uh, so on and so forth and all day we, we tried to find some information in, uh, in the internet and uh, at evening it was also bombing and we go to the temple because our senior devotees allowed us to stay in the temple if we think that it is no safety place. So we remove from we, we live um, opposite to the temple and we uh, very quickly just a few minutes and we move to to the temple and stay in the temple for the next seven days with devotees. How many devotees are there? It was more than fifty devotees. Mm -hmm. 
live together, serve together, make it as a team. Yes. Not now. Now, we don't now, have now just a few devotees uh, who stay to save them mm -hmm. to look after, look after them. Who oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And all devotees was evacuated. Do you keep connection with those devotees? Yes, yeah. we keep connection because it's our concerns, our uh, senior devotees, our friends. We mm -hmm. every day, every day connect with them. And what kind of information do you have about them? About the new. <laughs> yes, so they, they devotees uh, give uh, gave uh, Srimad Bhagavatam class. It's just few people, it, but they uh, can continue morning program and Srimad uh, Bhagavatam, uh, reading Srimad Bhagavatam, and they told that uh, some uh, devotee from farm near to Kiev bring a lot of paneer and sweets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the life is continuous, but... Mm -hmm. But in different Very circumstances. Different, yeah. Yes. Are there more devotees who are thinking about leaving? Actually, I don't know. I keep in touch with some of the uh, friends from Kiev, not in Temple, and some of them have already fled. Some of them are still staying for different reasons. One of my uh, friends, she she cannot leave. She she said that she cannot leave that because she has thirty tulasis to look after at home. And uh, another family I know, they at least uh, for the moment while we were in touch, she said that she, they were not going to leave. Um, so the people who are still know who are still there, they are not going for particular reasons. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But the most part of devotees uh, live Kiev. Uh, some of them goes to the east. Uh, west, west, uh, west, some west, west. of them goes to mm -hmm. the west Ukraine. And, um, some, some like we, we are going to the mm -hmm. friendly country. Mm -hmm. What about your families? <clears throat> you um, left behind uh, your parents or kids or anyone? <laughs> you no, know, my, my parents live in Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they worry about, they are constantly in touch. And the situation, you know, is like because they are supposed to be on the opposite side, but it's, it's fine. So, mm -hmm. in Kiev, myself, I didn't leave anyone behind. Mm -hmm. My parents live in the east part of Ukraine, Dnepr, my sister, my brother. My parents and uh, he, he all small ch children, uh, and uh, I worried about them so much, uh, but they don't want to leave uh, their places, so just uh, pray about them. Mm -hmm. um, do you know anything about uh, food for life activities? all over Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, almost in all cities, all biggest city, uh, cities, there are so many devotees uh, uh, get together and uh, distribute uh, hot, hot prasadam to everyone who, who needs, uh, especially in hospitals and uh, railway station and uh, underground where people try to um, say, uh, find safety place and uh, I know because my friends in Dnieper and Vila Cerkva that uh, they uh, cook so many uh, plates. Uh, yesterday they in Dnieper cook uh, more than 1,700 dish, uh, dish, uh, portions uh, of uh, hot prasadam and uh, they distribute it all. And uh, in Vila Cerkva also in devotees um, collect uh, some uh, food and uh, cook at home and, and open fire. Uh, in the big uh, pots and uh, distribute around 700 uh, portions every day. Mm -hmm. so very, very, very. Uh, it's very necessary service now, and people uh, in the street say, uh, We like Hare Krishna. Um, can we? And people from the city they come uh, to the temple and help, uh, they bring food. Uh, bring products and uh, food and uh, help to uh, prepare to peel uh, vegetables and uh, they told uh, when this finish we, can we come and help you <laughs> to cook for uh, you are always safer <laughs> so they very gratitude they very gratitude how can they solve the transport there because uh, as far as I know um, Kiev is running out of 
better. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I know for Dnieper uh, because uh, there are a lot of uh, small villages around the city mm -hmm. and people somehow maybe some have some mm, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And they bring, try to bring some potato, some some vegetables. No, no, about, about petrol. How, oh, where, 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 petrol. where do they get petrol? I don't know. Maybe some in 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 in, in, in villages. It's uh, maybe some has uh, like uh, how to say it, the place. Mm, stores. Stores. Some stores. Stocks. 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 Yes. Of petrol. And mm -hmm. they bring. Yes. I know that in Dnieper they can. They could uh, um, buy around 10 liters in one hand. Maybe there's also a volunteers, volunteers. Who, who go around and maybe they have this uh, petrol that they can share. Yeah, a lot of volunteers uh, try to help. For example, in Dnieper they bring uh, uh, good water for cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, every people try to bring something and be useful, be helpful. Mm, could you please tell us about your journey here? <laughs> How you reached Hungary? <laughs> it was long, <laughs> long story. Uh, we traveled from um, to, through different towns, and we went through different block posts, but not so many, fortunately, because uh, first we traveled by car, by minibus, and uh, there weren't many block posts around, and that's why we were maybe very lucky to get through because the distance that we covered from one place in uh, from Kyiv region to the western part of Ukraine. Most of the devotees that we covered within half a day, most of the devotees covered this distance within two days. So then we um, stayed in the western part of Ukraine, then uh, we went by train to Lviv, then at night we have a stopover, we took another train to get to the Hungarian uh, border, then on the border I got stuck because I didn't have um, biometric passport, it took me the whole day to get through all the registration, but it was fine, it was fine. Generally it took us maybe about four days uh, of traveling, mm -hmm. but it was fine because anyway, uh, somehow Krishna takes care and we always had sh uh, shelter and food. We always felt that Krishna is taking care no matter what's going on, uh, either we're in the car, in the train, on the bus, wherever, He, you always feel that he's always there. Through different people, you are on the um, railway station, you don't know the directions, they don't announce, and you don't know what time mm -hmm. your train will be. Uh, there are a lot of people, especially huge queues, tending to travel to Poland. Uh, it is very chaotic, uh, people are irritated, and you don't know how to get the right information, and you know that the train is about maybe one hour. And somehow Krishna uh, points you to the people who say, yes, yes, we are also traveling to the same direction, which is a miracle because, well, it's hard to find people who are traveling in the same direction and say, yes, yes, stick to us, we will go together. And they took us on the train with themselves and they helped us through. You, you could see that Krishna is always following you and always taking care, no matter how many days you travel or what's going on, but you see that he is taking care. Mm -hmm. How about your experience? It was um, also like a miracle because uh, just we get uh, just we got blessings for uh, Guru Maharaj and from senior devotees. Everything arranged very quickly. We have just one hour for collect our things and arrange uh, uh, transport to the railway station. It was uh, quite uh, dangerous because uh, this seven day we don't go um, far from from the temple and we don't know what uh, what in city now and uh, devotees bring a uh, pick a uh, pick up uh, to the railway station and we try to find uh, uh, necessary train but uh, it was really difficult we uh, in first we cannot uh, come in second also just in third uh, train we can uh, uh, enter and uh, we actually we was very lucky i think just by prayers of guru maharaj and uh, senior devotees uh, because we get to the hungry temple from kiev temple to, to budapest temple just for one day and one night it was very very quickly 
different things. Yeah, the, the, we find the uh, devotees also recommended us a uh, small, small uh, border uh, point and uh, there are no lines and uh, just uh, one and a half hours and we was in, uh, in uh, Hungary and uh, His Holiness Bhakti Pagda Swami Maharaj arranged everything for us, arranged a uh, car and the devotee uh, in but uh, <laughs> meet meet met us and uh, bring to the to the uh, so it was very we are so grateful to Hungarian devotees that they help so much us thank you so much yeah, I'd like to add also that we are here due to the uh, hospitality of Hungarian people mm -hmm. Hungarian yatra if it wasn't for them I don't know where we would be um, in a different place. And I didn't expect uh, me and our fr my friends. We didn't expect for such level of hospitality and warm reception. Um, it was for us really very unexpected that we are so much taken care of. Guru and Maharaj is always uh, in touch, and uh, we understand that he is taking care. He distributes where we mm -hmm. should go. Everything is organized fantastically. You are met on time. Devotees come with food, with water. You, you see that you are like in the family and your parents are meeting you, you are in need, no problem. You see just no problem and it is so amazing that, well, frankly speaking, my jaw dropped because I didn't expect such level of hospitality and reception that it really touches our hearts. And we were talking to, to Mataji's that uh, we don't know how to pay back, how to serve back because, well, for such care, you want to give something back. And I would like to very much appreciate and to thank all Hungarian uh, Yatra, uh, the devotees who gave us shelter in the first night uh, when I had this trouble of passing my border. It took me a really long time. I was free maybe at about 9 o'clock p.m. And anyway, devotees, they uh, sacrificed their sleep and they went one way two hours, uh, picked me up, then uh, another way back two hours, so that in the end they were at home after, well, after 1 a.m. Just, just to pick me up myself on the border. Uh, also, it was my problem that I got stuck there because I had problems with the documents. And you can imagine, or you, you can't imagine how much I'm grateful for such reception, for everything, prasadam. They helped us everything. They did even shopping for us. That was absolutely amazing. That was, for me, it is absolutely incredible. And I would like very much to thank all Hungarian Yatra for care. Thanks for watching. Do you have uh, plans for the future, either in short term or in long term? Uh, we were asked that question. You mean that if we have any plans to stay here in Hungary longer? Yeah, or go back? Or yes, we, 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 of course we are planning to go back. We very much look forward to that because well, we miss our yatra, our deities. We want to come back and to be there in the family. Uh, it's our homes there, our deities, we miss very much and we gave vows that we will take care of them and the inst installation ceremony that we will take care of them no matter what happens. And well, everybody wants to come back to home, to Achuta Priya Prabhu family, everybody now is getting around Ukraine and other parts of the world, but we, oh, especially me, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about me and the friends who we parted in Ukraine, that we all look forward to coming back as soon as possible, as soon as the situation somehow settles down. They would just even uh, don't want to go first through the border because they uh, suppose that it was very, it, it will finish very quickly and we can, can come back. Yeah, we as hope. Soon as possible. Yes, we hope that it will so that it will it will finish as soon as possible for us to come back home. Mm. But as far as I know, you have uh, some service already in Hungary. Yeah, we, we try to be useful and uh, help uh, to food for life to distribute uh, hot prasadam here on the railway station. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a good uh, opportunity for us to serve somehow to Ukrainian people who now need. But in Ukraine, people need so much, so much. If uh, uh, some devotees can opportunity and uh, can, can possibility to uh, donate something for food for life in, the, in different uh, cities. It will be great uh, help mm. because devotees now try to uh, um, collect uh, this uh, foundation to 
continue, continue to give uh, hope, hope and food. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what message uh, do you have for the community of the devotees all around the world? My message would be to pray for uh, for all devotees who ended up in such difficult situation, especially those who we don't have connection with. Uh, I see that uh, really miracles happen because I'm in chats with in different groups with different people and we see that at one time devotees text that we have no petrol to leave, uh, everything is bombing around, we have practically no possibility to leave, please pray for us. And I know that prayers are going on and in another two hours they text that, guys, it's unbelievable but somehow we found five liters of petrol, we found ourselves on the petrol station and somehow we by accident met two cars of other devotees yes. and they grouped together and they, they got another additional petrol and they left. And we see that in these chats that the real miracles happen that is absolutely unbelievable, incredible, that it was not supposed to happen. And I understand, we all understand that uh, to whom it was all due mm -hmm. to, to whom uh, prayers. That's why my message, I urge all uh, devotees uh, for additional prayers because we see that, um, well, in some places the situa situation isn't as bad as it could have already been actually by that time. Uh, so, if we could ask you, dear devotees, to pray for Ukrainian uh, devotees all over Ukraine, please do, because it really does help. It helps a lot and it makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. And also, if uh, somebody can help uh, financially, uh, it is very necessary, because here in Europe, a lot of organization, a lot of people try to help, and people uh, have enough here when they come and uh, they can have food, some uh, some clothes, some uh, medicals. But in Ukraine, it's really uh, needs, especially in the, not only in big town, but in every town, uh, especially uh, small towns near to the Kiev. The sword, it was bombed mm -hmm. <laughs> to the ground. To the ground, yes. yes. And people very uh, in very bad situation now. They, uh, uh, they have just a lit little, very short time to collect something what they necessary and when you in nervous, uh, 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 yes, you cannot even understand what you need and you, you just uh, go out and uh, do not, uh, nothing, you know, do it. Do you don't have anything, you yes, don't have anything, because so. you don't have time to think of the, all the proper yes. things that you need. To, to travel, you just uh, grab the all necessary things that is at your side and you just leave as soon as possible. Sometimes people just leave without anything because it's uh, all booming and you have to flee as soon as possible. So in, in hospital, in the railway station, the people need uh, food, the people need clothes, people need uh, uh, the things of first and necessary. Mm -hmm. so. Because uh, all citizens in Ukraine now in a difficult situation and uh, it will be nice, it will be great if some from other side can, can help. Mm -hmm. There in yeah. Ukraine, yes, because here yeah. there is abundance of help. Because abundance. nobody has work now mm -hmm. and uh, no, we cannot use our money in the cart, you know, mm -hmm. because the bank is limited, so you can... Uh, uh, take uh, just a small, small soon, and uh, it's really difficult. Some of people uh, stay without home and uh, live in the underground uh, weeks. So, if uh, some of uh, people, some of the voters can help, please help. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and feelings and experience, and. I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much for your blessings. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.